An armed robbery Wednesday night forced a man to make a decision when protecting his girlfriend and one and a half year old son. Senior reporter Jake Wazkowski spoke with the victim. Jake? Well, Jenny, it's an unbelievable story. One of the victims finds the opportunity to take down the suspect, but what happens after that made the victim have second thoughts about what he did. She came in, opened the door real slow, with ghost look on her face, said, get my keys, there's a guy here with a gun. William Hollis Jr. still tries to make sense about what happened at 9.30 last night. An armed, masked man demanded car keys from his girlfriend and mother who were on their porch holding a rifle to her back. He draped the rifle over. Hollis came out and complied. But with a bat in hand, he finds an opening when the suspect dropped the keys. I just grabbed him by the throat and pushed him and hit the ground. Wherever the bat was in my hand, it came over and slammed it down his throat. Police arrive minutes later. Turns out the boy is just 15 years old. Police book him at the Douglas County Youth Center for six felonies, including robbery, attempted robbery, and use of a weapon. Everything wasn't so cut and dry for Hollis. I, I, I thought about letting him go while the cops were on their way. Hollis says he had a conversation with the teen while holding him down, a conversation that shocked him even after what he'd just been through. Why are you doing this? And he told me he was homeless, he'd been kicked out of his house, he was hungry and nowhere to go. And I said, why don't you ask somebody for help? There's plenty of people really willing to help. There's people all over this town willing to help people. Hollis says the suspect told him he got the rifle from the streets. He says he's always helped out kids around the neighborhood when they're in need. He just wishes he could have helped the teen who tried to rob him before it got to that point. We all know 12, 13, 14, 15 year olds commit all these crimes now. And what's, we're, the adults are to blame. And we're not taking care of our kids. We're not, it takes a community to raise a child. It's upsetting. The teen has not been identified and his mugshot hasn't been released because he is a juvenile. If the teen goes through juvenile court, he would have the chance to be rehabilitated or sent to a group home instead of going to prison. Reporting live, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. All right, to a different